Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of Zombies 101, a series dedicated to making you a more confident and competent Zombies player. This week we are going to be covering Perca-Colas, their dynamics, and each perk individually. If you would like to skip to a specific perk, the links will be in the description for each perk. Perca-Colas function similar to the perk dynamic in Call of Duty in the sense that they give you a little something special, a little attribute to your character to help your survival. On the newer Call of Duties like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, the perks like to spawn randomly, though the locations stay the same, the perks themselves may switch. Most of the Perca-Cola machines require some sort of power source in order to be purchasable. On most maps, there is a power switch that you flip on. This is true for the giant, but in other special cases like the Shadows of Evil and Mob of the dead, you will have to go into beast mode and the afterlife mode in order to turn on a perk machine. With the exception of gobble gums and completing easter eggs, you are only allotted four perk slots. If you go down, you will lose all of your perks, though there are ways to keep them after you do go down, which we will get to later in the video. Fun fact, if you go prone in front of certain perk machines, it will award you 100 points, at least here in Black Ops 3. This is to sort of nod to, in real life, finding quarters and loose change underneath uh, vending machines. Der Wonderfiz is a machine in Origins and Der Eisendraha that provides you with a random perk bottle for 1,000 500 points. It works like the mystery box, it will be in a random location somewhere on the map. This is useful for getting perks that are on the map that don't have a perk machine. For example, in Durizendraha, you can get Widow's Wine, Electric Cherry, and Deadshot Daiquiri from the Wonderfizz, even though they don't have their own perk machine. Now that we've covered the basic perk of cola dynamics, let's get right into the perks. Juggernaut is a very simple perk. All it does is it increases your health. What this means is a zombie will have to hit you three times in order for you to go down. Once you drink Juggernaut, a zombie will have to hit you five times and then you'll go down. Juggernaut costs 2,500 points, and personally, this is the most important thing in a game of zombies. I see a lot of new players going after the mystery box when they should be going after Juggernaut. Quick Revive decreases a player's revive time by 50% in co-op or multiplayer. In multiplayer, Quick Revive costs 1,500 points. When you're playing solo, Quick Revive functions very differently. It allows you to revive yourself in solo, and because of this, it is only 500 points. In order to maintain balance, you are only allowed to buy Quick Revive three times while playing solo. Keep in mind, even in solo, when you go down, you will lose all of your perks. Speed Cola costs 3,000 points and it decreases your reload time by 50% and it allows you to build barriers 60% faster. There are actually two versions of Double Tap, Double Tap Root Beer and Double Tap 2.0. The original Double Tap is only found in World at War and Black Ops 1. The original Double Tap Root Beer increases your fire rate by 25% and cost 2,000 points. However, players found this very ineffective, so Treyarch made Double Tap 2.0. In addition to the 25% increase in rate of fire, Double Tap 2 actually lets you fire two bullets per shot. This is effectively doubling your damage. Stamina Up costs 2,000 points, it increases your movement speed by 7%, and it increases your sprint duration by 100%. Mule Kick costs a hefty 4,000 points and it allows you to carry three weapons. Personally, this sounds very good. However, when you go down, you lose all of your perks, which means you lose Mule Kick, which means if you go down, you will lose that third bonus weapon. Widow's Wine costs 4,000 points. Once you drink Widow's Wine, once a zombie hits you, if you have a grenade, it will explode the grenade into a spider web, which will then trap the zombies, slow them down, and allow you a moment of peace. In addition to this, it changes your frag grenades to Simtex grenades, and when you throw the Simtex grenades, it'll explode into that same spider web. And as a bonus, it increases your melee damage. 
electric cherry costs 2,000 points and creates a lethal electric shockwave around you whenever you reload your weapon. The strength of the shockwave is dependent on the amount of rounds left you have when you reload. Reloading an almost full magazine will create a very small shockwave, whereas reloading an empty magazine will create a large shockwave. Deadshot Daiquiri increases hipfire accuracy by 35%, reduces recoil on all weapons, removes idle sway on sniper rifles, and adjusts the aim assist to target the zombies' heads instead of their torsos. It costs 1,500 points on consoles, and because PC doesn't have auto-aim, it only costs 1,000 points on PC. The fan-favorite PHD Flopper costs 2,000 points, and it grants you immunity against explosive and falling damage. In addition to this, if you dolphin dive with PHD Flopper, it will create an explosion when you land. Tombstone Soda costs 2,000 points and allows you to keep all of your perks and equipment if you go down. Once you go down, you can hold the use button to die prematurely. When the round ends and the next one begins, you will spawn back in and there will be a power up of a tombstone where you went down. Run through it and you have all of your perks and equipment. If you do not die prematurely and you are revived, you will lose all of your perks. Vulture Aid costs 3,000 points and will allow you to see perks, wall weapons, and the mystery box location through walls. It will allow you to collect small drops of ammo and points dropped by zombies. And when certain zombies release a green cloud when you kill them, you can stand inside and be ignored by all other zombies. And it will also make zombies' eyes glow brighter. Who's Who costs 2,000 points, and it will spawn you in as a doppelganger when you go down. If you are able to revive yourself as this doppelganger, you will keep all of your perks, except for Who's Who. However, if you go down as this doppelganger, other players will have to revive both of you in order to get yourself back up. And this is where we get the name Who's Who? And those are all of their perks and their dynamics here in Call of Duty Zombies. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe for some more Call of Duty Zombies 101. Some topics I will be tackling is the delicate art of training. There is some multiplayer etiquette that I want to go through as well as all of the drops and the double pack-a-punch. So you have that to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. And until the next absolutely beautiful zombie morning, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day. Tell them.